Hello guys and girls, uh, welcome to this video. Uh, so, so far in this Jenkins tutorial series, uh, we learned how to install Jenkins on EC2 with one click in easy way. And then uh, we, we installed CloudFormation plugin. Uh, we also created pipeline uh, to submit CloudFormation using Jenkins jobs uh, from GitHub. I highly recommend uh, part one of this series uh, before watching this video. Uh, in case you don't know how to set up Jenkins or um, set up a job to submit CloudFormation. I'll put up the link uh, up top. Okay, so, uh, so far uh, we have been manually submitting our Jenkins jobs. In this video, we are going to learn uh, how you can set up your Jenkins jobs in such a way that anytime a new template is checked into the repository, or an existing template is changed uh, so that your Jenkins uh, job gets automatically submitted. Uh, all right, let's get into it. So there are uh, two parts to it. Uh, one is uh, in the Jenkins job, uh, we have to put a trigger on, and but also on our uh, GitHub, we have to tell that, hey, anytime anything changes on our repository, uh, send a webhook to Jenkins. Um, so let's do the first part. So if we go to our job, click configure. Um, so if we scroll down, so you can see this uh, build trigger section, right? Uh, so there are different triggers available. Uh, so one is you can build periodically, like maybe you want to submit this job every five minutes, 10 minutes or whatever. However, uh, to do the automatic, you have to do this GitHub hook trigger for Git SCM polling. Uh, so what this does is uh, anytime there's a change in the GitHub repository, uh, it sends this uh, webhook to this Jenkins job and then this job gets submitted. Uh, so click save, uh, but we are not done yet, right? So this is just the job. So now we have to send the webhook from our GitHub page to this Jenkins. So go to your uh, GitHub, okay, click the repository, and then click this settings tab. Scroll down, click webhooks. Okay, now click add webhook. So in this payload URL, uh, you have to give our uh, Jenkins URL, and then you have to add uh, github-webhook at the end. Um, so the Jenkins URL is basically the dashboard URL. Uh, so if I right click this back to dashboard, open link in new tab. Uh, okay, so you're gonna copy this, whatever your URL is. Okay, let's copy this. Go back to GitHub, paste this, and then add GitHub dash webhook slash. Uh, don't forget this front slash. Uh, if you forget this, then it's gonna uh, give an error. Change the application type to application slash JSON. And then you can select which events would you like to trigger this webhook. Uh, just the push event is good. And then click add webhook. Don't save this. Okay, so uh, at this point, everything is set. Uh, now to see if it is working, let's make a change in our repository. So go to CloudFormation demo. Okay, click this. I'm just gonna edit from here directly. It's easier. This is just a test, so I'm just gonna remove this output section for now, okay? So let me uh, keep the Jenkins. Uh, let me go to the job. So now there is only number one, right? So uh, as soon as we do the change in our GitHub, we should see another job get submitted, another copy of this job get submitted. Okay, so go back to GitHub. Okay, let's say remove output. Okay, commit changes. Okay, let's go back to Jenkins. Here we go. You could see another job got submitted. Uh, so usually it should be number two, but I tested this a little bit before <laughs> recording the video. I did not want the demo to fail while I'm recording. 
Uh, okay, click this number four, click console output. Okay, so it successfully created stack. So uh, this will work for any cloud formation. Okay, so we successfully uh, set up the part where any change happens in the code repository, Jenkins should pick it up automatically. All right, my Jenkins gurus, uh, that is the video. If you like this video, uh, please smash that like button and click subscribe. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.